Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video I will show you how you can turn your Android device, pretty much any Android device, it can be your deck station, it can be your old Android phone like mine's uh, Note 4, pretty much any Android device into a media server. So um, to create a media server obviously you need an app and we're gonna use in this video app called bubble upmp there is a free version and there is a paid version well there is a free version you download and if you want to pay for it you, you buy the license key which installs on your android device and this app detects the license key being installed and that's how it becomes pro pro version so i'll double tap and that's what basically the layout is um, i chose um look and feel to be dark dark theme sorry press the wrong one so uh, navigation draws and etc is dark theme because it's much better for let's say an eyes and while I'm using this app on my phone instead of connect to deck station but using on a phone dark background saves battery life because it's all a display so uh, the options basically have a local render so you can send the signal of this video to your um, this is my Google Home Mini and this is my Shield TV so I can send it to be like a cast to these devices or I can basically share music videos and etc of my local storage or the cloud storage so you can connect your Google Drive, Google Photos, Google Music, Dropbox so for example you have your vacation photos in Google Photos so you can link that and you will be able to access them to the server um, there is uh, options like Dropbox if you say you have your vacation videos and they upload it to Google Drive or Dropbox You can access them as well if you're linking this account One option I need to change before I start showing to you is under settings local and cloud and enable row remote browsing what that means is um, The user that's gonna use this let's say remote client you trust that remote client obviously I'm gonna use this in the video so I trust myself and I won't gonna do anything harm so I, I enable that and configure so I, I'm allowing Dropbox to be basically go through folders not just going to a root folder but could digging down through all the folders and I enabled everything else so what that means when I connect for a local machine through a client let's say in this case I will use my Chromebook I'll use my Chromebook um, I'll be able to go deeper through uh, folders until I found the multimedia file that I'm looking for so this is running all well and good obviously I can play through here so I press play Hello, everybody, and welcome back. all fine I can even listen to music let's see if I go to a cloud and I'll go to a Dropbox I have my musics music file all done loaded and ready to play now because uh, this app is running is by default acting as UPnP server so what that means um, remote or programs and devices within your network can detect this as a UPnP server basically as DLNA server or UPnP server which that means is a media server like a Plex so what I'll do now so go back go back go back minimize as you can see there is a play button under notifications that means it's right now running in the background so what I'll do now I'll switch to my Chromebook and open VLC player on my Chromebook. So when I was looking through a network and it detected Mr. PUMP server. If I tap on it, I have access to all these folders that you saw previously. So I can go to my external SD card, I go I can go to my downloads, to my movies, and I can play the video. So right now as you can see the video is playing because obviously you see uh, the deck station. Um, deck station um, wallpaper deck station layout so mouse is moving I can uh, skip it a bit more so it's one of the, my old videos so as you can see right now it's playing on a Chromebook and if I'll switch back this is actual deck station and this is a video that is playing on a Chromebook so pause that go back uh, let's say I want to go back again um, downloads um, let's say movies and I'll, I'll, I'll pr play uh, roll the free music right now the music is playing on my Chromebook is being streamed from my deck station using this app to my Chromebook what that means basically um, my deck station my phone became a multimedia server 
so all the all the all the services I can link to it so I have a Dropbox right now linked I can link my Google Drive I can link my Google Music if you have a library of big music um, box OneDrive Google Drive photos so if you want to share your photos like create a server where you can access photos you can do this within and this app I, I looked a lot of apps online on the for Android 2 so I forgot to switch there did you uh, did you feed uh, but basically um, if you want to I look through so many photos so many apps that can somehow act the same as a Plex Plex server and to be honest not all of them well some of them does the things but this bubble UPnP or bubble yeah I think it's called bubble yeah bubble U UPnP is one of the best or no it's a best Android app available at the moment for that kind of setup. So let's say, okay, the X station is all fine, but you're gonna take your phone with you and etc. So you have your old Android just lying around somewhere. Okay, fine. You you get yourself put this on a charge somewhere in the corner, and just I'm looking if uh, where is the Samsung dock station? I can't find it. Multimedia. Uh, I had somewhere around here, I can't find it now, but anyway. So this one, you, you just set up on your Android device, you link all these services, and it acts as a multimedia server within your home network. So you put this one somewhere in a corner, constantly on charge, connected to a Wi-Fi, and that's it. And 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 your devices like laptop, a Windows laptop, Macs, Ma a Chromebook, other Android devices, your NVIDIA Shield TV, your Smart TV, every device that's capable of detecting UPnP or has code installed. I tried with the Kodi, so Kodi detects this as well, and you can link it, and it just becomes a multimedia server just for using this app. And like I mentioned, it, this app is free uh, for you to try with limited limited uh, settings. Bubble UPnP, but um, limited settings. Uh, but I, I decided to go and pay the, the license fee and I'm not regretting at all. This is 5 million people downloaded. Come on, it's like best way to um, create your server. And this is, by the way, the license key. And, well, 100,000 people already bought it. And, uh, come on, you want to create, you want to bring your deck stage, your Android to a new level. That's it. You get this app. Like I said, you link your device. You link your cl cloud storages to this Android device. You can even use something like OTG cable or, like I said, a docking station. But let's say OTG cable. You plug that in. You plug your USB key with a lot of movies that you have there, and that's it. You're ready to go. You're ready to stream movies. And another thing, what I found, apparently, I've not tried it yet. But if you want, uh, I can create a video in the future internet access to uh, the server what that means you can set up the uh, s this server act as a well you will be able to connect to the server from outside your home network so your server somewhere in US you somewhere in Europe you can watch the videos on your device from there I'm not really dug in, dig into all this yet, So, but if you want me to find out and try it, let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a future video about it. But basically this is this is the best way to create a server and use your Android device as a main device to stream music, to stream movies, to stream photos and etc. So like always, if you liked what you saw here, don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you think what I said is bullshit, please leave a reason why in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the near future with another awesome video about Android OS. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.